Hello guys, welcome back at my Max Payne 2 playthrough. I'm Lawrence from Rocco Gaming and this is episode 6. Enjoy! A sign of her passage. I had to get down to the street. And we start right off. Still at uh, Max apartment. Let's search for the street then. The, that looked weird. Oh, grenade. I didn't saw them, so I guess they came from up here. Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Now his message from Mona. Hmm, should I trust this? Oh, it's the hobo. This is where the fun starts. Okay, I guess he helped me. Let's trust him. The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. Yeah. Think we should lock the gas. Let's search for a Volvo or something. Of course, this door didn't open. Um, I think we should go to a basement or something, so let's go deeper. No pun intended. I blame the system. Bunch of Bunch of hypocrites. Nope. I hear it though. The elevator don't need that. No, I guess. Exit. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are you coming to my rescue? A hooker. All right. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor if you can kill the flames. More of them. Thanks for the advice. Right, the hobo did good work, and the door has opened. I guess we'll the find gas valve in the, utility the gas room. valve here. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Very obvious, Max. There's a tickle ammo and nothing. Yeah, I kind of like this guy. Let's go upstairs. Uh, they keep on coming. is dead too bad and the elevator is broken no elevator then let's go upstairs the third floor she said so just one more up I guess so Crap. 
The search of flames. Oh, there is one staircase I missed. Another one. Okay, in search of the fire then. I'm a bit lost, so hopefully you'll find it quick. Let's sweep these floors. Oh, yes, of course, I was searching for a fire, but I killed the fire. What a stupid move of me. And again, we're on the edge of the building. One of the most dangerous parts. See me, I think, and this one I can take the mode beyond the time. And he has seen me, of course. Okay, that was a bit of a chaos. And we have made the jump. I was surprised by those guys. And another ledge jump. One left. All right, made it. They hit you home. It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.